If we want to add content to our WordPress site, it is exceptionally easy. If I go to my login and go into new post, you will see something very similar to a email creation interface. We have the ability to add a title, we have the ability to add a body, along with a WYSIWYG editor, a what you see is what you get editor. And from here in WordPress.com, I have the ability to add media such as pictures, add a poll in order to do a survey, or to add a contact form, an easy way to get feedback from my viewers. But all I really need is a title and content in the body of my post. I can scroll down, add tags and categories if I wish, add a location if I wish, and then down here we have a publish button. The publish button is the only thing standing between your content and the world. And so by clicking publish, that content becomes available immediately. Let's do it now. If I wanted to add some media to my post, I could click where I wanted the media to be added and then click on add media in order to bring up this interface. I could choose an existing piece of media that I've uploaded previously or I can go to upload files which allows me to go into my photos, go and choose a photo, open that, add metadata, copy and paste that metadata and edit it as necessary into caption, alternative text, and description, and then simply insert that into the post, at which point that image shows up in my post. I'll scroll down to where it says publish, click on publish. It checks for writing errors because of the settings I've put into WordPress, and that easily, my new content is available to the world at johnmakes.wordpress.com. Next, we're going to talk about plugins on WordPress, and then follow that with themes, widgets, menus, users, roles, taxonomy, sharing, and analytics. Mm -hmm.